uh, finding the area and the circumference of a circle and we're going to do it out in my backyard on my two and a half acre farm to give everyone just a little idea of where these things occur in the real world okay now let's say you were a uh, factory owner and you had to produce these tabletops okay and so you would need to know how much area how many let's say square inches or square feet this top was well in order to find the area we need to find the radius and the radius is exactly 23 inches okay 23 inches and so we know that the form formula for radius is uh, radius squared times pi so that would be 23 times 23 times pi okay so that's how we'd figure out the area for this uh, tabletop all right now we have a power drill here and we have this drill bit and I'm I'm first gonna drill and then I'm gonna ask a question about it okay all right now do you think with this hole would a worker like me would he drill this hole do I want to know the diameter the radius the circumference maybe the surface area of that hole what I really want to know is if I need to drill this kind of hole I need to know how wide it is across and it's exactly one inch across so this is the diameter and this tool right here this drill bit it says right right there one inch so this diameter was one inch now if the diameter is one inch what do you think the circumference is of that circle okay all right uh, we have these uh, flower buckets here and they come in different circumference sizes so I wonder what would the circumference size be here if we measured the diameter and it was 23 and a half inches okay now that's a little different from over there because that was 23 inches exact this is 23 and a half how will that be different in its circumference okay now we have this fire pit here and let's say we want to know how big the flat surface area of this part is okay what we could do is we could take the surface area of this whole thing minus this area inside okay now if we look at the surface area of the whole thing it has a radius of 16 okay now let's go to about right here mark okay now if I come in like that and then go to the center it is 12 inches okay so if we take the area of a 12 inch radius circle and subtract it from a 16 inch radius circle that would give us this area of this like donut thing on the outside okay all right now with this flower bucket there's three things we want to know first of all with a 24 with a 24 inch diameter what's the circumference going to be secondly uh, we want to know the the flat surface area here because in order to figure out how much soil we need we're gonna have to take the flat surface area here times the depth here to give us the volume of dirt and mulch we're going going to need so the flat surface area of this would be 12 which is the radius squared times pi okay now if we go down like this we're gonna find that the dirt comes up to about right here so let's say that's about the 13 inch level we're gonna need to multiply 
13 inches up by the surface area here to get the volume in cubic inches of how much fill dirt uh, we need here, okay? Nothing like a very clean country swimming pool. Actually, this is for our big dog. She gets it quite dirty. Um, now, the diameter across is 42 inches, okay? And so, uh, what would the circumference be around if the diameter is 42 inches? I wish my big, big dog was here, but uh, she's not. So what would the circumference be at 42 inches diameter, okay? Okay, we're out here in the ceremonial Kiva pit. Uh, just kidding. Uh, I built this, uh, dug this out for my daughter, Laura. Now, from one side of the pit over to here, the diameter is 15 feet or 180 inches. So what would the circumference be in both inches and feet if we're at 15 feet and 180 inches for the diameter, okay? All right, we're here at Trampoline Central. Now we want to make sure that this trampoline would fit inside there, okay? So if this is going to fit inside the big hole, uh, this would have to be smaller of a circumference than the whole cir circumference. So this is exactly uh, 13 and a half feet, okay, or 162 inches. So we would need to measure the, um, the circumference there. Secondly, Mark and I are gonna go up to the uh, material here and let's see if we were a manufacturer and we wanted to manufacture this very strong material. It's been out in the sun for four years and it's still good. We would have to know the surface area here. Now, this is exactly 12 feet or 144 inches across. So think of that. Now remember, that's the diameter. And when we measure the surface area, we need radius squared times pi, but here the diameter is either 144 inches or 12 feet. All right, our last measurement uh, takes place under a citrus tree. Uh, this is this tree is full of Valencia oranges. Now farmers say that um, they want the circumference of the water saucer down here. They want the circumference of the water saucer equal to about how wide the branches grow out, okay? So I have this set about here to about the outside where most of the branches go. Then if you go over there, you can see where the saucer goes out over to his edge over there, okay? Now, um, this is just a little bit too small. It needs to go out. So when I redig, redig this, I need to make a circle with a circumference that's going to fit a diameter of 102 inches that measures from this side of the tree to the other. And that's on the inside of this berm here. So we'll need a 102 inch diameter and a circumference that goes around that, okay? Okay, this is my dog, Maddie. Now imagine Maddie trying to fit in that little blue pool over there, Ooh, okay? She's a fun dog.